First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read you just a couple of quick paragraphs from the book. I want you to get it exactly from here. We're going to unpack this, see how people are doing it wrong. And then we're going to help you understand how to apply it to your life. And then I'll tell you where to get a copy of the book if you're interested. So he says, let's get right down to the heart of the matter. The power, the force, the overwhelming urge to own that makes advertising work comes from the market itself and not from the copy. Copy cannot create desire for a product. It can only take the hopes, dreams, fears, and desires that already exist in the hearts of millions of people and focus those already existing desires onto a particular product. This is the copywriter's task, not to create this mass desire, but to channel it and direct it. Actually, it would be impossible for any one advertiser to spend enough money to actually create this mass desire. He can only exploit it and he dies when he tries to run against it. So that's it. That's the whole big idea from this book. Um, honestly, if you haven't got a copy and you haven't read it, it really, really, truly is better than I would say 80 or 90% of marketing courses I've ever been through. And when you read it, you'll notice a lot of the fake gurus selling $1,000 and $2,000 courses. They got most of their ideas from here. But I wanna really, really zero in on this idea because it's so important. And to me, my take on this is that the idea is that you cannot manufacture or create desire for whatever it is you're offering within the eyes of your target market right? There's your audience, there's their hopes, their dreams, their goals, their desires, their problems, their challenges, and what they already believe, what they're already kind of experiencing and going through mentally, emotionally, physically in their life, that is what is. You're not going to create a new desire within them. That desire lives within their experience already. And your job as a copywriter and a marketer is to identify that desire and connect with them over that desire at your ultimately at your copy, right? So on this channel, how I've used this on this channel is I'm constantly giving as much free value to help you grow your business online because the desire that you have is to have a lifestyle freedom business, a business that'll generate 10 grand a month, a hundred grand a month. You have a number and that number is kind of irrelevant. It's more about having a business that allows you to generate the cash flow you desire with complete lifestyle freedom. You can wake up when you want, you can work from home, you can work from a, a villa in Bali if you choose, you can work from anywhere in the world and you reclaim that time freedom, the location freedom, and ultimately financial freedom. That's the desire. And I understand that because I've been there. So when I'm creating every single video, when I'm creating everything on this platform, the Miles Beckler platform from this video, I'm sharing with you right now in this exact moment to my opt-in to my membership program and my inner circle, all of those items are based on the desire that you already have, right? You have the desire for someone to show you how to do all of the things. You have the desire to be able to ask someone for help when you encounter a challenge with your Facebook ads or with your funnel, or when you can't figure out why something isn't working, you have a desire to be able to ask somebody who's been there and done that before so they can remove the roadblock. That's exactly why I created my inner circle. So the biggest part to me is that the desire itself comes from the market, right? You're not creating something for the market. And here's where so many internet entrepreneurs and digital marketers get it wrong. They go make the product first. They go create the thing. They're so confident that this thing they made, they just invented something totally new. No one's ever done this or proven that it works before, but they invented it now. How do I go get people to want this thing that I have? And as he says, and he dies when he tries to run against it. And that is ultimately running against the market is when you go create something first. So what do you do? Well, that's why you run a minimum viable funnel, which I've got a video on. I'll have that pop up above my head so you can go look at the minimum viable funnel idea. You've probably heard a lot about minimum viable products. You start with a minimum viable product. When I launched my membership program, it had two trainings inside of it and about five posts inside of a forum. It was pretty close to an empty forum. 
forum. Today, it's got seven or eight very, very in-depth trainings on different topics from traffic to like all kinds of different things, Google ads, et cetera, organic traffic, social media traffic, backlinks, et cetera. All that is now built in and there's dozens and dozens of video tutorials in, in addition to that in there. So what I'm getting at is today, now that my product has been running for several months, it's in a lot different of a shape than it was when I launched. I launched with the bare minimum idea in order to test the market and say, does my understanding of this desire that lies within my market, am I right? Am I really truly right that I think that I understand what that desire is and that I've created something that's going to resonate with these individuals in that and that will get them to take action to join me in this kind of inner circle situation? So that was my idea and the copy is what communicated that idea and ultimately it worked. It worked like gangbusters, like 500 members signed up in a, in a few days for that, right? So, so that's how it played out for me, but you always need to be analyzing how this plays out for you in your business because your business is ultimately there to serve the needs, the desires, the wants, the goals, to solve the problems and challenges of your audience. And you need to understand that the goal, your goal should be to really truly get a deep understanding of who they are, what their problems are, where they are in their life, so you can understand their core desires, right? When you know what their core desires are, exactly what they're looking for, then it's very easy to offer it to them. And one of the cool things is, if you've got an audience, if you've been putting time in growing a YouTube channel, for example, growing your blog, growing your email list, you can ask them what their biggest question is around that thing that you do, right? Like if you help people lose weight, but not just all people lose weight, you've got a very specific subset. You've got to, you help pregnant moms lose weight through vegan diets, for example, and you've got an email list of 1300 individuals who kind of fit that mold. You can ask them what's their number one question about losing weight. And that was probably a terrible example off the cuff, but I'm trying to make you un help you understand that, that you want to be super, super targeted on those individuals and where they are in their life, because that person is going to have a very different goal, need, and desire than the 32 year old bodybuilder who wants to go all plant-based and he wants to lose weight, but he's looking to lose body fat percentage and he's trying to cut and trim body fat percentages. So, there's very different goals and needs with each segment of the market and you need to understand what those are and you're never in a position or you should never put yourself in a position where you feel the need to create the desire your job is to identify it to find it and to tap into it and ultimately to channel that desire towards your product. We use copy, copywriting, videos, video sales letters, opt-ins, emails. Those are all the, the tactical things, right? The, the actual tech that we use in order to accomplish those goals. But truthfully, none of that actually matters until you A, can help a group of people achieve a desired result, right? Help them fulfill their desires. But then you need to learn how to identify what that core desire is and channel that desire into your funnel, into your opt-in through your videos, through your blog posts, through your social media updates, and ultimately to your product. And when you get that in alignment to where their desire and your content and your product are all in alignment and your product is truly going to help them get that which they desire, your copywriting, your video sales letter, your sales letter is written in a way that it so clearly identifies the problem for them, helps them understand you have a new unique solution. It gives them proof that it's going to work for them. That is how you channel their desire through your sales material to your product itself. And when you get that right, your business will absolutely explode. That's the kind of offer that's required to scale Facebook advertising. A lot of people who are saying Facebook advertising doesn't work. It's because they don't have this dialed in correctly. Their offer is not irresistible to their market. And when you have an irresistible offer for your market, another way of saying that is that you've sufficiently or successfully channeled the desires of your audience of your market to your product itself. That's when you have one of those offers that's just going to convert. That point, traffic's the easy point, easy part. You can run traffic from all kinds of sources and get sales when you've correctly done this. Um, that's just one big idea from this book. I think this book is absolutely fantastic. 
If you're interested in getting a copy, you can go to breakthroughadvertisingbook.com. Uh, Boardroom, the publishing company, is actually reprinting these and selling these. They're $125 each. You can only order three of them at once. So it's a small arbitrage uh, potential uh, for somebody to maybe buy some and sell them on Amazon or sell them on eBay. But ultimately, I think it's just a worthy book to have. And that's just the start of it. So if you do sales writing, sales copy, if you're growing a business, selling digital products, selling coaching, um, selling anything through the web through video or written content boy that book is going to help you really truly understand how to get better results because it's going to help you understand your people and how to communicate with them better and how to ultimately help them get which that which they desire